Once upon a time, there was a very clever rabbit named, well, Rabbit. Rabbit invented a game called chess and went to show the king. The king loved the game. He played it all day. In fact, he enjoyed it so much he wanted to reward Rabbit. Rabbit said no at first, but the king insisted. So Rabbit said, give me some grain to eat, enough to cover my chessboard. One grain in the first square, two on the second, four on the next, and so on, doubling the grain all the way to the 64th square. But the king protested. This is too little. Forgetting that rabbits know a few things about multiplication. So the king's accountant began to calculate the payment. It took him two years to make the calculations. Finally, he came to the king with very bad news. Your majesty, if we multiply one grain by two, doubling it 64 times, it is enough grain to cover the whole kingdom. Indeed, the whole country of India, 50 feet deep. To pay your debt to Rabbit, you would have to give away your kingdom. But the king had another idea. He got rid of Rabbit. However, while the accountant had been doing his math, Rabbit had been doing some multiplication of her own. With only one month's gestation, an average of eight rabbits to a litter, and four months until adulthood, 6,000 rabbits were created in the two years it took the accountant to check his figures. When Rabbit's fate was discovered, her offspring formed an army, they overthrew the king, and lived happily ever after in what became known as the Kingdom of Rabbits. The world belongs to those who multiply.